Peace, peace, family. This video right here is about the science of the Adam's apple and sonic geometry. So you have sacred geometry and then you have sonic geometry. Now with that being said, sacred geometry as I broke down in my lecture titled The Science of Alchemy and Sacred Geometry located on my website that you can access within this description. Hit the link that's provided for you below. Now with that being said, once you watch that presentation, you should have a full understanding on, 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 on sacred and sonic geometry. Now with that being said, I'm going to give this video underneath the assumption that you've watched that lecture and you have this understanding. Now, with that being said, your Adam's apple, okay? We have to understand that the word Adam, okay, is also atom. So, A-D-A-M is just a personified, fictional character that was created in representation of the atom, which is A-T-O-M. So, now let me give you the science. They say that Eve came from Adam's rib. Now, atom, right? Atom's rib is DNA. When you look at a DNA molecule, or I mean a DNA strand, okay, with the helixes on the side, it looks it like it looks just like a twisted ladder. It also looks like a rib cage. If you go pull up a picture of a rib cage and you pull up a picture of a DNA strand, they look damn near identical. So with that being said, Eve is the mitochondrial Eve gene. Remember, DNA comes from the cosmos. Atoms become DNA. Which, and then from the form of, uh, whatchamacallit, DNAs that they form after becoming molecules and forming a molecular structure, then they go on to become uh, cells, those cells go on to become tissues, those tissues be go on to become organs, those organs go on to become organ systems, and those organ systems go on to become organisms. And remember, the first known existing organism was a black woman, which was an XX chromosome. Then once she lost 2.8% of her own genetic material, she became a man, which is an XY chromosome. This is why we have nipples and we don't use them. This is why you have to circumcise your son when you have him, because the skin on his, vag on his uh, penis is the skin that would have been on his vaginal walls. Has he stayed on the road to become a female, which science confirms for the, anything that you have for the first six weeks, starts off as a female. Male. doesn't become a, a male until that Y chromosome kicks in that was sent back across the placenta to the mother from the child. So with that being said, that is the story of how Eve came from Adam's rib. How mitochondrial DNA, Eve gene, how the Eve gene, mitochondrial Eve gene, right, which is a form of DNA, came from an Adam. So we are literally self-made entities. Now with that being said, we come from a higher self, which is the cosmos. And we manifest ourselves as different cells, as uh, individual cells. And we get our instructions genetically from the cosmos. It is a fact that quantum physics has proven that DNA is hooked up to the universe. Your DNA is constantly receiving information from what? Light. Okay? Light codes. Light is what? Electricity and magnetism. Radio wave frequency. Radio wave frequencies are electromagnetic signals constantly carrying specifically that which is called sound messages. So, the universe is constantly speaking to you through your DNA. Now, why is it important? Your atom's apple, okay, is actually what? Your vocal cords manipulating atoms. Now, what does this have to do with sonic geometry? We understand that atoms form shapes due to biotunes in certain uh, frequencies. So I'll give you an example. A dodecahedron. Okay? When you look at the dodecahedron, if I'm pronunciating it correctly, right? When you open that up as what is known as a dodecahedron net, and remember, a net, like if, even if we look, was to look up a hexahedron, which is just a cube, but in sacred geometry, a cube is considered, you know, the term for this uh, hexahedron. If you, Whenever you open up a shape, it's called a net. And when you open up a shape, it shows you what it looks like open up. So a cube, a.k.a. hexahedron, looks like a cross opened up. A dodecahedron looks just like a snowflake. Now, why is it important? Every chemical that you see on the chemical elements tables chart is associated with a certain geometric shape. And every element, all the four elements, okay, are also associated with certain sacred geometrical shapes. Now, hydrogen, okay, is associated with a dodecahedron. And the hydrogen shape also can be divided into intervals of 60 degrees. So the universe was also created from what originally? Hydrogen. First element in creation. And when they measured the oldest hydrogen atoms, they all had intervals of 60 degrees. So if the universe is actually one singular form and there's multiple universes, then we know that the universe is one giant dodecahedron ever expanding. And this would make sense because the dodecahedron shape is also associated with uh, feminine aspects, and we know that the universe builds upon electrons, which is feminine energy. Remember, in science, 
positive and negative doesn't mean good or bad. It means masculine and feminine. So now, why is this important? Hydrogen, once again, is what? Associated with water. When we're talking about hydrogen and oxygen coming together to make the water molecule, which is also the most intellectual molecule in existence. And when you freeze water, right, under a certain temperature, it becomes a snowflake, right? And when you freeze frame the fo a, a, a snowflake after you photograph it and you observe it, if you take, if you go right now and pull up snowflakes images, and then you pull up dodecahedron net, net, you'll see that a dodecahedron looks exactly like a snowflake because all it is is the atoms, okay, reconstructing themselves in the form of a dodecahedron in order to bring the physical shape of water into existence at a certain degree. Period. 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 So when you see masons with the square and compass, what are they measuring? They're measuring geometric shapes that come manifested out of the flower life. Now, why is this important? Your atom's apple, okay? The, your, you know, your vocal cords that you use to produce reality while in this body is used to reshape atoms. This is why it's called your atom's apple. So you think it's called the atom's apple, but it's really the atom's apple. And every day we speak things into existence and we do what? Reshape our lives. How are you reshaping your life? Because you're literally reshaping your life. Geometric shapes. So, think about all of the shit you spoke into existence. And think about all of the negative situations you could have avoided if you could have did one simple thing. Shut the fuck up. So with that being said, your mouth gets you in a lot of trouble. Because your mouth is used to literally speak everything into existence. So right now, even as I'm speaking to you, and I'm giving you information, right? I'm geometrically reconstructing the coding that your brain downloads, period. So that being said, when we go outside every day and we're talking about frequencies that we're speaking into existence, we have to understand these frequencies don't just come and just vibrate and don't do shit. These frequencies interface with subatomic particles and anatomical particles, and they reconstruct reality according to the consciousness of the projector, period. So we have photons that we digest from light. They're biologically digested, and then they're emitted back out as biophotons and then these biophotons interact with biofrequencies right and you can study biofrequencies which are frequencies that are emitted by uh, an organism after digesting light biologically and these frequencies also can be can be studied in the form of bioenergetics which is how you biologically input and output energy so these now biophotons right attach themselves to atoms and reconstruct reality but on top of that as you speaking okay your intent, your psychology, your, your physiological se uh, state of being, you know, whether you're healthy or not, all of this plays a role in the things that come out your goddamn mouth. And depending upon what comes out your mouth, will determine how you are shaping your reality. So anatomically, how are you building or how are you destroying? How are you ascending or how are you descending? So we have to understand this, your voice, your throat chakra. Is damn near one of the most powerful chakras you have. Because your throat chakra will make or break your reality. Won't make It won't really make or break mine too much unless I believe it. And this is why, you know, media and, and all of these motherfuckers who run this country spend so much goddamn money on advertising. Because they understand the science of shaping the way you think. Your brain analyzes the experience. Okay? But you have to ask yourself, who, gener who generates the experience if not you? So if you never told yourself to want a Snickers naturally, who told you to want one? The person who used their Adam's apple to reconstruct your reality to make this a, 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 a temporary uh, phenomena of inventory for you to consciously digest. Other than that, you wouldn't know what the fuck a Snickers was if somebody didn't speak that shit into existence. So, so what we have to understand is the Adam's apple, Atom's apple. Is used for you to reconstruct reality. Now, when we're talking about mantras and tones and things like that, or your people chanting, um, or your people chanting, ah, uh, these frequencies, right, are what we call, you know, original, original sounds. So the ohm frequency, as I broke down uh, earlier in one of my lectures in my videos, I can't remember, the ohm frequency, right, is used to, let's say, uh, radio, uh, uh, rec reconnect people synchronistically. On the original radio wave frequency. So I broke down in one of my in one of my videos how life is just like music notes. 
and you have like, you know, do, re, mi, fa, so, but I, I did that all off one octave of sound. I just hit different notes. So the original do, before I even went to re, you know, re, my, uh, whatchamacallit, do, re, mi, fa, so, before I even went to the re, mi, fa, so, when I just was on the do, that was the original extension of creation. So what we have to understand is the universe is in layers. So fa, so, might be humans and plants, but the original do is the original radio wave of the universe in this allegorical situation. So ohm in this situation is the original sound. So this is why when you go to think for shit, or if somebody asks you a question and you don't know it, the first thing you say is um, and you go in your head. And, so, and, and nine times out of ten you look up and you say um, or somebody say what's the answer to this? And you say um, let me think about it. And you look up, what are you looking up to? The pineal gland, okay? The third eye, which also is called the third eye because it has actual tissues, a retina, and a certain physiological composition as a two in your head. So you're going um because you are subconsciously reconnecting back with the original unified field layer of information, okay? And you're channeling electromagnetic wavelengths, aka information, to the nervous system through the third eye, which is the pineal gland, which is the head of the goddamn central nervous system, which controls all sub-nervous systems, being the autonomic, the peripheral, uh, uh, which we call the autonomic, the peripheral, the uh, sympathetic, all of these different nervous systems that you have, the cranial, all of these different nervous systems that you have are controlled by the central nervous system, which is controlled by the pineal gland. So when you hit the ohm, okay, you're actually channeling into an unlimited field of information. You're basically motherfucking Googling. So... You, this is like, you know, the original Google. So with that being said, you're actually channeling into the original uh, unified field of thoughts all across anything that has an electromagnetic field pulsating in existence today. And you're downloading the thought that you wish to have. This is why sometimes things just come, seem like they come to you because they do. So with that being said, we have to understand the internet and the computer is made off the synchronistic natural abilities of the brain, which is the biological computer, and your mind, which is the original internet, which is the original one, the, the original omnipresent, the original all. So with that being said, we have to understand your atom's apple is used to reconstruct reality through what is known as sonic geometry, okay, and all of this is biologically downloaded and digested by you, who is the observer, in order to have the experience you wish to have, so now with that being said, imagine how many situations we could avoid it, if you would have just shut your motherfucking ass up, so with that being said, your mouth will get you in a lot of trouble, because you don't understand the power of the mouth, it's just like a gun, if you pick up a gun and you don't know what it is, you liable to shoot your goddamn self because you don't understand the functioning mechanics of the weapon. So if you have a vocal cord and a fifth chakra, and you just so happen to be today what we call a humanoid organism, you may get yourself in a lot of shit because you don't understand the power of speaking things into existence. And this is why the law of attraction is so deadly. Because what occultic practitioners do, or anybody that's evil does, if they don't force you to do shit, they trick you to do it willingly by manipulating you out of your own free will to believe in an agenda that's actually against yourself. So that being said, your brain is like a magnet. The left and right hemispheres are different polarities held together by actual crystals in the brain known as dendrites, which actually help it to interface like a magnetic computer. Now that being said, you attract things to this motherfucking magnet. And you attract things by... Uh, conjuring up belief systems predicated upon what you download through your eyes. So that being said, this is why they say the eyes are the windows to the soul because the eyes are the windows to the pineal gland, which is the seat of the soul, which gives out messages and information and commands to the nervous system to distribute to the body to perform as an expression of what the uh, brain has digested as a form of reality. So if you're watching TV shows and you're seeing certain type of activities go on, or you're listening to certain music and you're listening to certain type of activities go on, that is what you are naturally going to try to track and use your vocal cords, aka your atoms apple, to reconfigure reality to manifest and bring to your existence. So understand you only ask for things that you believe you want. So let's bring it back to the Snickers. You only ask for a fucking Snickers or a goddamn Skittle because somebody put that in your mind. And now you use your Adam's apple to reconstruct reality to configure a situation that will bring you an impossible experience of what it is you believe a Snickers and a Skittles is. But if nobody never told you that, or they didn't speak that to existence, you wouldn't know what that is or you wouldn't know how to act to attract that in your life. So we watching TV and we watching gangster movies, killer movies, prostitutes, fucking loving hip-hop, all this dumbass shit you watch every day. And you're out there trying to vocalize that. 
Okay, and you're out there trying to speak that into existence and you're trying to manifest that. That's only because you're trying to attract what somebody put inside your magnet. And so we have to understand the science of how this shit even works to fully understand how it's being used against you. So we have all of these goddamn scientific, biological engineers and geneticists and bio motherfucking physicists in America. You mean to tell me nobody knows this shit? Yes, they do. After the goddamn World War II, America took all of Hitler's best scientists. You think that they don't know this shit? Yes, they do. But the problem is you don't know this shit because you don't give a fuck to know this shit because it's not being put in your head. Therefore, you don't have the will to attract it because you don't have the consciousness that it even exists. To be conscious means to be aware. If you're not aware of something, you can't be conscious of it. And if you're not conscious of something, Something, then you can't ever try to magnetically pull it into your field of experience. So with that being said, family, understand the science of the Adam's apple, a.k.a. Atom's apple, and how it molecularly reconstructs atoms according to the geometric figures that each atom conforms to depending upon the sound wave that it's subjected to, and understand the, com the, composition, the composition of how important all that understanding is in order to take back your own power in your life. If you do not conjure up your own reality, somebody will conjure it up for you. And if you are living on this planet Earth right now, there's only two ways you're living. By your own productions or by somebody else's productions. Do you make your own movies or do you go to the movies to watch the ideas of another motherfucker? We never created killers. I never in my life thought about ripping somebody's face off and wearing it until I saw Leatherface and Chainsaw Massacre. So did that idea come from you or did the idea of somebody being brutally massacred come from somebody else? Because now we have to ask ourselves, is somebody infringing upon our imagination? Image is to conjure up a picture and the nation is to build. So you picture things in your mind and what you want to build upon. And are things people putting things, are people using their own atoms, Apple, to reconstruct artificial simulations? And images to put into your mind for you to actually build and include that into the, your physical nation that you conjure every day? Are they? Because I believe they are. So we have to ask ourselves, when we're talking about a belief system, systems first must be programmed. Just like computer systems. So is your belief system pre-programmed and handed down to you and updated? Just like motherfucking that iPhone got to update? Motherfucker, you think... Social engineering is not real. You think they don't update people's brains with more bullshit to keep bullshit going? So we have to ask ourselves, who the fuck is infringing upon your imagination? Who the fuck computed your belief system that you now compute and express every day? So now, once again, to become conscious means to what? Simply become aware. And if you're not aware that you're not manifesting your own motherfucking thoughts, then you're not aware that you're not speaking anything into existence that you truly believe or that you truly create. You're only speaking into existence and keeping alive the artificial reality of someone else's self-destructional, evil, diabolical idea. And with that being said, family, use your Adam's apples wisely because you don't only construct reality for yourself. You construct it for anyone else who may become interested in or curious into what it, else you're, what it is you're building and shaping. And so make sure that you build and shape all things righteously. Not just geometrically what we can see, but geometrically, anatomically, that which we subconsciously cannot see but subscribe to every day. And with that being said, family, I love y'all. Peace. Peace, peace, family. Welcome to YoungFerrell.net. Subscribe now for exclusive access to me and all of my content for things such as lectures, Feral Alive Universities, children's videos, radio interviews, behind the scenes and documentaries, and much, much more. Be sure to subscribe now, family. Also, don't forget the Internet YouTube promo code, which is YouTube YP. Internet for a discount off your subscription. So with that being said, family, you get exclusive access to me and all my work. And as I continue to grow, I want y'all to grow with me. So with that being said, family, youngfrail.net, subscribe now. Also, follow me on social media, family. Instagram at Feral underscore Allah. Twitter at Feral underscore Allah. Facebook at Young Feral. And subscribe now to my YouTube channel at Young Feral. And with that being said, family, I'll see y'all in the classroom. Peace.